Hi, and welcome to this short video, an introduction to Phonebox 4 from Broadcast Bionics. I'll be giving you an overview of some of the features of Phonebox, and then in later videos, I'll show you some of the more advanced options, such as the Oasis Social Media Bolt-On, our prize manager and virtual director, which can produce shareable video and picture content for your station as well as producing a fully switched live stream with captions and now playing artwork. If you've used other versions of Phonebox or X-Screen, you'll be fairly familiar with this view. What we're showing you here is just one example of a screen layout. We also have a view for a presenter showing just what we call the on-air queue, which forms the show running order, a reading panel and the audio devices showing who's on air. There's also a call screener view which shows us much more detail and allows data to be entered very quickly by a call screener or phone op. This, however, is a fairly general view which could be used by a producer or self-op presenter. We've got incoming lines to the left with six active calls at the moment. Uh, we've got audio devices or TBUs associated with your faders on the desk at the bottom of the screen. In this example, device two is raised up slightly indicating that the fader channel is faded up. And we can also see audio from the caller at the bottom, useful if you have multiple callers on air at the same time on multiple audio devices. There's also a handset device displayed on the machine. This could be a telephone or USB headset. It enables us to enter basic information on a caller. Also on the right of the screen, we've got Oasis, the on-air social interaction server, which we'll come on to a little bit later on. So what's changed with Phonebox 4? Well, we've had to make the screen a lot more dynamic because we're getting a lot more on it. Calls that are ringing are in yellow and blue. A call that's on hold is in green. A call that's on air is shown here in purple, indicating the colour of the audio device that it's faded up on. You'll also notice that the number 2 here is showing pulsing red, showing that the uh, fader is up on that channel. If we place that caller back on hold, uh, the line goes green and the number two goes a steady red indicating that that call has been used. Each of the lines has a slide out menu as well. If we press the line number we get some options depending on what call state it's in. We have the option to reject or bring up the caller history. We can see when this person last called. When we answer the call we're given some different options to hang up, to look at the caller information in more detail, we can also lock the call to stop anybody else on the system hanging them up. And we can place the call in callback mode, which means if they do hang up, we can very, very quickly call them back. Going back to the details panel, we can add some interchangeable tags, which vary depending on the topics you're discussing in your program. We can add their point in detail, which will instantly appear on other lines and devices of all clients connected to the system. We can also add their age and their gender. We can give them a caller rating, say that they're screened and ready for broadcast. We can also add a disposition as well, maybe a little card to indicate that they're on the move. Frequent or troublesome callers can also be given an alert just to make us aware of any problems they may have. We also now have some custom fields which can be changed per show on the system. These can be questions relating to a subject, maybe a song request or some political allegiance to give overall balance during a debate. All these screens are swipeable, allowing us to enter the detail very, very quickly. To answer the next call, we can click on another line or we can use the answer key on the top left hand side, which corresponds to F1 on the keyboard. We can answer each line in turn, which puts the previous caller on hold. Or we can put the device into dump mode, where as you select the next line, you hang up on the previous caller. Depending on which version of Phonebox 4 you have, you can also put the devices into conference mode, meaning you're able to put multiple callers onto the one device. As with other versions of Phonebox, we're able to close our lines and also hang up all the existing callers we have on the system, clearing our lines, ready for them to be opened again. We can also keep count of all our calls with the handy call counter, depending on which one we want to display at the top of the screen there, and also reset those counters to zero. Pressing and holding the answer key will give us a number of options, including the device that we want to send the calls to, and also the option to answer the longest ringing or random line, useful for competitions. To dial out, we can simply select an empty line which gives us a keypad in the centre of the screen. We can redial one of the last five dialed numbers. We can also choose to withhold our outgoing number, 
We can also dial in secret, which means our number isn't stored anywhere on the phone box database, which is useful if you're dialing a politician or a celebrity. We can also go back to up to 10 missed calls, useful if you have a busy time and don't get to uh, the callers before they ring off. We can give them a call back straight away. So on the right-hand side of the screen, we have our call log. Producers can find calls by particular tag or subject that we're talking about and also sort this by caller rating so we can give the best callers a call back first. The log also indicates which callers have been on air with the red block at the right-hand side of the screen here. Being on air means they've been on an audio device that has been faded up. We've also got the option, depending on which version of Phonebox you're running, to record these calls and edit them in your favourite editor. These call logs are kept for a predetermined time to fit into your company's data policy. You can go back to any day to find callers on any particular subject. For more information on Phonebox 4, please go to bionics.co.uk or email us sales at bionics.co.uk. Next, we look at Oasis, the social media bolt onto Phonebox 4. Please click on the tree.